No. News is wrong. Wrong. Jersey Joe back with you here, and uh, did you ever dabble around in those higher-end cable channels? Now, we all have digital cable now. We're all paying for all these extra channels. Well, the other night, like at home, I was kind of bored after work, and I'm dabbling around those high-end channels. You know where all the religious things are, like the old reruns. And I found this one channel called Soul of the South, and I'm like, oh, this is something new they added in my Verizon Fios. I'll take a look at it. Well, they had a newscast on, so I'm like, well, let's see what Soul of the South news is all about. So I put it on. And I kind of caught them not really telling the truth. Check out this clip and you'll see what I mean. You are watching Soul of the South News. When we hear about dropout rates, we often think of high school students. Starting college and not finishing is a huge concern, especially for African-American men, and the numbers are staggering. I talked with Pepperdine professor Dr. Donald E. Grant Jr. to find out what is behind this trend. Yeah, it, we can't wait. Um, we know that there's such disparities related to uh, graduation rates across the country. And when we look at those who uh, matriculate successfully through colleges and universities, we see huge outcomes related to uh, their environment, their ecology, and their ability to support and sustain their families. Now, your assertion is that we must demand that our public schools offer the basic courses for college enrollment and success. So did you catch what I'm talking about? Listen again to the anchor intro and then listen to the reporter ask the first question. I talked with Pepperdine professor Dr. Donald E. Grant Jr. Your assertion is that we must demand that our public schools offer the basic courses for college enrollment and success. So the anchor says, I asked, but then when we get to see the question being asked, oh wait, you've changed color, sir. Hmm, is this a Star Trek transporter accident, maybe? What's going on with that? Here's what went on with that. The package was obviously recycled from another show. They put a different anchor on the set, and nobody changed the prompter. So it made that guy look kind of like an idiot, unfortunately. But look, it's not Soul of the South's fault. They're an entertainment channel. They outsource a news of a company called INN, the Independent News Network. They're based out of Davenport, Iowa. And what these people do is they sell news content to local stations or cable stations that can't afford to do a newsroom of their own. And they put their product out, put your logo on it, and it makes it like your newscast. But it's completely outsourced to somebody else. That's what happens. You don't have enough people. Little things like that hit the air. Now, this wasn't a big mistake. It's kind of a funny little joke that we can laugh about now, but he could have really said something stupid and made could really embarrass their credibility altogether. In a day of DVR and a day of webcams and a day of everybody having an iPhone, it's going to get caught. So definitely stations need to double check their content and then clearly adapt to this new technology. Soul of the South's cable channel is delivered to cable companies via the cloud. It's not a satellite anymore. It's totally different. And technology is how you and I are able to talk like this. So Jersey Joe here and uh, glad technology works so you and I can have this little chat as well. And thanks for dialing me up and I'll see you next time, I hope.